Good morning, good morning. Where are we going today, Kenzie? Swimming. Swimming. We're going swimming today. Well, he's going swimming with his friend. I'm going to go for a walk along the canal probably, but I'm going to sit and have a cup of tea first. Because I overslept and I haven't had a cup of tea yet. I overslept. Oh, oh well, we better go get Charlie then, haven't we? Yeah. See you guys at the other end. Okay, I'm going to try and head down to the canal, if I can find a way onto it. The boys are swimming. There was a huge queue and to get in. So uh, that took a while. Right, let's see if I can find a way onto the canal. Take you for a little walk along the uh, along the canal path. God, it's bright. So yeah, they're in now. They've got an hour and a half swimming. So right, let's find a footpath. It's got to be one somewhere. These robins are super friendly. There was another one literally just down by my feet. So used to people. Hey! You gonna let me past? I don't wanna scare you. guy behind me. There's a guy behind me. Who's vlogging? I'm too shy to speak to them though. To ask him what his channel's called. Yeah. You can always tell the vloggers. He just walked past me doing an intro to something. I wish I was a little bit braver I'd go and say, can I see your channel? Anyway, I thought I'd share that. Made me giggle. I always think it's a bit horrible that there's industrial units next to the canal but that's really stupid because the canals were here to transport industrial goods so you know it makes sense that the industrial units were built next to the canals but yeah I know it sounds stupid you know they're there for a purpose but they're not used for that anymore which is a real shame actually I mean Roads are so busy, they should put the canals back into use again for freight. Anyway, I'm going to take you up over the top of this little, little lock. This was such a, an amazing invention for levelling out the rivers. Built in 1999, well, that's quite a newish one. They must have uh, replaced the old one. It's a little weir. This is a nice bit. They've built some sort of luxury flats and townhouses along the river or along the canal. And looks like we've got some moorings as well. So what's this? Temporary moorings, there you go. Circus Field Basin. For those of you, I think, was it Charles? Said he was a little bit disappointed not to see the narrow boats yesterday in Oxford. There we go. stay overnight, more up, or for a few days to visit the, uh, the area.
We got the ducks. <laughs> we got a very keen male duck there. Oh, he's not giving up easy. I'm fascinated by duck reproduction. You need to Google it. It'll blow your mind, quite literally. And now I look at it with a whole different viewpoint. She will not let them have what they want unless she chooses them. It does make me wonder why that one over there is being ignored though. Oh, here he comes, look. He's not giving up. Although she's noticed that this person here is throwing food out to her. So she's probably going to go and have some dinner. And feed the ducks. We've got crows, gulls, pigeons, ducks. And if you look inside that house in that window, it's a huge, great big white dog. Sort of an Akita or something. Got my hand's so wobbly. Sorry, people. I reckon that dog wants to come out and grab those pigeons. All the crows roosting in the tree. And if I'm right, I believe it's called a murder of crows. That's a worrying thought, isn't it? Where are they all off to? There we go. These are some of the birds. Cuckoos. Little owls. Although you can't see the little owl because it's all been algae-fied, sedge warbler, kestrels, I see those quite a lot, yellow wagtails, lapwings, skylarks and mallards. Now, way back when I was 12, I used to play here on my lunch hour. My parents owned a shop and from the age of 12 until 16 I think I worked there on Saturdays and uh, when I worked with my nan she always gave me a longer lunch break and I'd come up here I met some of the local lads and used to hang out with them some boys that used to come in the shop really nice guys sadly one of them I found out died in a car accident I think when he was about 19 um, we never kept in contact, which was a shame. So when I stopped working in the shop, I kind of stopped seeing them. But they were a nice couple of guys. And um, we used to come and hang out by the river on my lunch breaks. We enjoyed it. My dad grew up over there on that estate. So my dad moved from Manchester when he was four, I think. His dad had been down here working for quite a few years beforehand. Actually, he might have been six when he moved here. And they lived over on that estate there. There was a whole new housing estate being built over there. Houses are going up everywhere. And so fast too. They are just not made like the ones that we saw in Oxford. There's no real craftsmanship anymore. I mean, I couldn't build a house. <laughs> but there's no real craftsmanship. No masonry work. It's just throw it together. So, the hills that you see in the distance, that's the ridgeway that uh, me and my sister have been walking.
know if you can see, there's some swans and geese over there on the embankment. Right, oh, get my finger out of the way. Time to head back. So the boys should be finishing swimming in the next 30 minutes. Just been having a nice chat to a man there and his son who were fishing. Saying he's not been along this bit for about 10 years. And I said, no, this is my first walk along here in 20. <laughs> so, uh, well, more than 20 to be fair. Right, time to make our way back. They'll be wanting some lunch when we get when we get together again. Think about where to take them for some food. We have a narrow boat coming with lots of people on. You're going to shoot someone with it. <laughs> shoot it at me. Oh, you got a leak in yours. Have they stopped you being able to shoot them across the thing? That's just mean. Oh my god, there's really a grumbling. Should be. And there's another. This is what the old bag match was. Got enough food there, Kenzie? No. <laughs> what I like doing is much talking to this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's well and truly broken. So you all swimmed out now. Kenzie, don't be a pig. Charlie, that burger's bigger than you. Teaching Brendan a new game. One of the ones I bought from town yesterday. Flux. Firefly version. What does it immediately place plus redraw? So I pick up more? Perhaps? Immediately play and redraw? I guess so. What does it say? Redraw. Oh, it's a creeper, so you have to play it straight away and pick one more card. Okie dokie, that's actually a good. Thing. And then we need to go through the creeper. So what does it say on the creeper? So you, we can't win while it's on the table. We have to get rid of it. You can't win unless you have this unless the goal says otherwise so unless i get the uh river tam and cans of blue okay 